Hello guys, welcome to a new video where I am showing you how I turn this very messy, full of clutter bathroom into an organized oasis. Everything has a place, I have so many tips and tricks, so if that sounds good to you, then just keep watching. It might look good on the outside, but when you open these cabinets, it is a hot mess express, so much stuff, no organization whatsoever. There are baskets and bins, but a little bit of everything is in each one, so we are gonna fix that together. We're going to wash these cabinets, pull everything out, figure out a new setup, a new layout, wash the organizers, and then put it all back in and set ourselves up for its success. So please like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I have just one more before to show you, and then we're going to start pulling all these things out and get to work. We have cleared out the vast majority of products from the first side of the vanity, so here's the before of all of these acrylic organizers in the drawer style, and they did have labels on them. I'm going to be removing those because they're starting to peel at the corners and not look so great, and I'm going to wash these in the bathtub. So I'm filling this with warm water and Dawn dish soap, and I'm saying warm and not hot because if you let any plastic style organizers soak in hot water, it can permanently warp the plastic and we don't want that so be careful about how hot your water is I have not washed these this well in a couple of years so it's definitely time the vast majority of the time when I go through these I'll just wipe them down but it was absolutely time for a good soak I'm gonna be using Dawn several times throughout this video by the way I just I love to use it for so many different things around the house it works perfect for this project to get all of the grime off of these organizers all of the product buildup the fingerprints so after a couple of minutes I'm just going to rinse each one and then wipe it down with a microfiber towel and any remaining water droplets will be able to air dry while I work on something else And the second side of the vanity is all cleared out. Those organizers are soaking. So now we can finally vacuum them out. And I shared this vacuum recently. I realized it actually has two attachments instead of one. So sorry about that. I wanted to vacuum these before I spray and wipe them down because any hair or any excess dust will be much easier to vacuum up than to slide around with a towel. So there's just a little bit of hair in these drawers. I'm especially going to vacuum the little like hinges the roller hinges on the side of these drawers because those get so much more dusty than you would ever think seriously keep an eye on those in your own bathroom and I'm just working from side to side and then I'm going to use a new spray that I bought specifically to test out in this video so this is the clean freak this is basically like a multi surface spray and it has a lemon scent you know I love my citrus I'm going to spray the walls of the cabinets the base the door is inside and outside just doing all of it really well before I put anything back in.
So now for the fun part, putting organizers back in and figuring out a new layout. And whenever I reorganize throughout the house, whenever I have to like wipe down any organization systems and it's been a while, I always will use a new layout. I feel like that's part of the fun and part of the motivation for me is trying something new. And I have several different styles here. So I will be reusing some items. I will be trying some new stuff. And that white drawer, it's on a little roller base. That is from Target. I'm going to use some organizers from Walmart, part of the home edit collection, and then of course those drawers from Amazon. So if you guys are interested in any of these, I will link them all below. I love all of them. And one thing I've never really done is stacked organizers that are not on a drawer since you do have to move them in the first place to get anything out. But I see that all over Instagram and I figured why not just try it with something I don't have to reach for that often. So I'm going to put the toilet paper in the bottom of those stackable organizers and then I'm going to put some feminine hygiene products in these acrylic drawers and I wanted to split up the drawers this time so I'm going to do about half on one side half on the other for completely different products. I am so happy with how this side is turning out. Very cohesive. I love that it's so many different products in a small space, but it doesn't feel too cluttered because everything has its own little spot. I have my contacts and one of the larger drawers. And something I'm doing a little bit different this time is I'm actually skipping the labels. I really don't feel like I need them. And I did want to shout out the pen that I used in the pantry organization, small pantry organization I did a few months back. It's a water-based white pen and I think it would look really good on these acrylic organizers So if you're someone that wants to label but you don't want to use a sticker then definitely check that out I'll link it below We have so much done, but still lots more to organize and find a little home for. And I'm going to work on these drawers for just a second. So before in this drawer, I had one large bin and that was it. Nothing to organize all of the different hair products or, you know, hair accessories, I guess. So I'm going to have one for hair ties, one for bobby pins, one for small hair clips, large hair clips, extra hair accessories. And I will be layering in this drawer with hair brushes. So we will come back to it. I'll show you how. I'm going to do that. I also am going to add all of my hair tools into the bottom drawer. That is something that's hard for me to let go of is hair tools. I have a lot of them. So the ones I use the most often, I'm going to make sure are organized on top. Now let's figure out a layout for the left cabinet. So lots of drawers in here, a few more than the other side, since I'm going to have quite a few skincare and makeup products in here. But I also wanted to use stackable organizers that are larger that I can fully just reach into really quick and easy. So how good does this look? I'm putting all of the cleansers and toner products, all these essentially higher and taller products, on the top since I'm going to need that extra room, smaller products in the middle, which is primarily serums. And then 
I used to have all of these masks that I'm putting in the very bottom here in two, sometimes three drawers. So I figured a large bin would be perfect to keep all of them in the same place. So most skincare will be on the right side in those stackable bins, but in the drawers, I'm going to have eye serums or eye creams, any retinols, and also at least one bin of things I definitely want to donate or I want to give away to friends and family, whichever comes first, anything I have several of or just something I know I won't be able to use. As far as makeup, I will have one for the lip glosses and lipsticks, one for any lip liners and matte products, one for any powder makeup items. So whether it's eyeshadow or face powders, one for any liquid, so primers, foundation, and concealer. There are pros and cons to any organization system and all of you have personal preferences just like I do. With these drawers, I do think that regardless of how organized the actual drawer is, it still looks good, it still makes sense, and you still know where everything is. So anything in each drawer does not have to be perfectly lined up, but with these bin organizers, if it is not lined up, it's gonna look really messy and be hard to find things. And I do feel like the bins are a lot more affordable in general than the drawers so just some helpful tips for you I'm back to the other side and I decided instead of splitting up all of these full-size products whether it's a body product a lotion a body wash a deodorant a hair product I'm just going to put all of those in one organizer and I have a bird's eye view since nothing is going on top so I'll be able to easily reach in look down and find things when I went through the before I had a lot of hair products standing up in the middle drawer but I couldn't actually tell what they were until I pulled each individual product out so I think this is gonna work a little bit better I also wanted to touch on dead space because inevitably there's going to be some dead space when you're organizing, especially if you're focusing on going vertical like I am, way more than depth. So there is a pretty good amount of dead space behind this drawer organizer and I still want to utilize it, but I'm going to put things back there. I really don't need any more than a couple times a year. So hair rollers, used to use those all the time and now I really don't, but I would still like to keep them. Those are going to go in the back and a small bin along with wipes for my glasses to clean them that I really don't need that often and the last or one of the last things I'm going to organize are some trash bags for my bathroom trash cans they came with it I did not buy these if you know me you know I would just use a grocery shopping bag but these were a part of the orders so I'm going to put these behind the mouthwash which is kind of random but I know where they are and they're easily accessible so works perfect for me
We are nearing the finish line, only a few more things to do. And if you're going to go through the trouble of reorganizing your bathroom, make sure you also wash your hairbrushes. This is something you don't have to do that often, but it will make a difference, you guys, seriously. So wash out your sink, wipe it down, make sure it's clean, fill it with hot water and some Dawn soap, scrub the brushes together, and then let them soak for a few minutes while you wipe down your counters or do a couple other things. When you are brushing your hair, those natural oils from your scalp get on your hairbrush, and then over time you start to brush that excess oil through your hair, and it can make your hair way dirtier, way faster. If you're like me, you do not like washing your hair for no reason. So try this and do it regularly just a couple times a year. Squeeze all of the water out, let them air dry overnight. Please do this and thank me later. So it's been a few minutes. I'm going to rinse these hairbrushes. The water is slightly cloudy, which is so gross. Of course, there's also hair product in there. I should have said that along with the excess oils, but we're going to get rid of all of that right now. And I'm using this basket to store hairbrushes for a reason, which I will get into in our walkthrough that is about to start right now. So getting into the first vanity, I have body products, hair products, feminine hygiene products, contacts, cotton rounds, and q-tips, and toilet paper, and all of the teeth items. I am very, very happy to split up some stuff from the left side to the right side. I have my glasses up there, and this small drawer organizer, I have razor cartridges and face razors. Guys, I just love this side so, so much. Every time I open this drawer or this cabinet, I am very happy to see how it looks inside. I've never put feminine hygiene products in a drawer organizer like this, and I really, really like it. So consider that if you are watching this for a little inspiration for your own bathroom. I do have to angle up that first organizer here with all of the mouthwash in it and the melatonin for the toilet paper. I'll let you know how that goes. And then the left side, I have the skincare in the front that I want to remember to use. So my lash serum, my eyebrow serum, some toner products, extra cleansers. I typically wash my face in the shower and then I'll do the rest of my skincare over here. I have the little spot treatments, of course, all of my masks. Any I want to use regularly, I'm going to put in front so I see them and don't forget to use them. This is to get my hair out of my face for either doing my skincare or my makeup. And then so many different makeup products down below. I told you those are my eye products, my retinols, anything I want to give away is in this drawer. I have the powder products coming up next. Any face products that are powder go in there. Any face products that are liquid are going to go in this drawer and extra sponges. Then I have the SPF and the moisturizers in this drawer. I have the eye products right above it. So any eyeshadow sticks, mascaras, eyebrow pencils, Pencils, lip liners and matte lip products. I should probably put the lipsticks in here too because lipsticks and the lip glosses are all in this drawer. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I can see everything. So those labels were honestly a little bit unnecessary, but if you want to use them, feel free. And then of course, this one's pretty self-explanatory. The toothpaste, the toothbrushes, um, the floss. I also have hair brushes in this basket to catch the hair, guys. This is like 10 
textured and it holds the hair so much better than an acrylic organizer would that wouldn't grab onto it so I think the hair will stay in the basket a lot more than just going around this entire drawer I'm moving these forward because when I put this basket back down I have the hair ties sticking out and on an everyday basis reach in i grab a hair tie i brush my hair put the brush back and i don't need the other things every day so i can lift the basket when i do i have all the hair tools down here i told you i have quite a few and that completes this bathroom organization start to finish entire process i really hope you enjoyed this please like and subscribe if you did links below for all of the stuff that i used as well as recent videos and i'll see you right here in a few days in a brand new video bye guys